Oh yeah. Oh, what somebody got me? I had a sunflower theme for my mum's funeral because sunflowers are beautiful. Do they're a celebration of her life? But somebody got me that anyway. I was dead chuffed, and I want to say again, I am blown away. Wait, let's see Betty. You never get Betty. You always get Stormzy. Have Betty. Mwah. I am blown away with kindness because I'll be honest having the C word is pretty real you know you don't get to just take it off for a day or have an hour off from it it's a pretty real it's pretty intense it's pretty there all the time and I'll be honest with you I've had very very low moments because I was I've been unfortunate and my brother had passed away a few years ago and then I went through all that with my mum which was like even harder than what I'm going through in some ways to watch her she came all the way from Sweden and had pancreatic cancer it's been hard I had a hard year after that a hard couple of years and then when I found out I had this breast cancer I have had moments where I felt so down so bloody down and I thought I didn't want to fight I didn't feel like I had fight in me I think because right at the beginning because I was forced to see see it for what it were and that it were a big cancer and I had got a big fight ahead of me I just I don't know whether I just felt depressed or I don't know it, I just, I don't know, I just felt like every, everything was grumbling on top of me. And I really did think you need to have a positive attitude to get through it. And I felt like I hadn't got, got that in me enough. But then, you lot <laughs> happened. People sending me well wishes and people going out of the way for me and doing big text messages and sending me gifts through the post and coming round and seeing me my daughter paying six months of my mortgage as well as lots of other things like my pandora bracelet which i love got fire on me <laughs> and lots of other stuff Di came and stayed for the night and we had a girly night and like I say, my sunflowers thing and lots of other stuff. Lots of other stuff. I had my beautiful flowers come the other day with chocolates, which were yummy. I ate the bloody lot. <laughs> uh, so I've got my lilies in the bathroom. So no worries there. Poor Gina was like beside herself saying, oh, I, I didn't want to harm your cats. I was trying to do something nice. I'm like, you did do something nice. And they're in my bathroom. The cats don't go in the bathroom. So I'm good. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I'm just blown away and because of all that and all that love and messages from people I've not heard from for a while, that's given me courage. It really has given me courage. I know I've been on here and that's helped as well because I can just chat on to you in the morning or before I go to sleep. While I'm doing my diamond art, it's, you know, you're there, aren't you? You're all there and... I'm blown away, I'm absolutely blown away and I'm a very lucky girl and that, all that combined has given me strength in my belly to fight and I will fight it. So if I'm feeling really, really low, I'll just remember that. Life's not too bad. Life's got good things. Life, I, I can try and make my future better. It's not been a good past. I've had a rough few years, but I can try and make a change and make it better. And by making it better, no matter what happens, as long as I know I've that thought as best I can, apart from being naughty, Baz wasn't impressed. I waited a few more extra days for my chemo, just for my hair. <laughs> and I seen what, what he meant afterwards. I thought he's right. I shouldn't have waited an extra six days, but... Overall, I've had to wait anyway, so 
I'm not going to beat myself up about that now. <laughs> Poor lad wanted to slap me, I bet. But the old woman, you know what men are like. <sighs> and he's got a right to be able to be like that with him. Pass is my friend as much as Di. Di's obviously, you know, you're like my main friend out of the both of you, but... But yeah, so I just wanted to thank every single person that's liked something, that's loved something, that sent me gifts. I've even had a few gifts off strangers. I had some eight pack, I think it were, maybe 10 pack of nice fluffy socks. <laughs> so I'll take some of them with me to chemo tomorrow. I'm now looking up stuff because I'm thinking, crap, can I eat before chemo? They probably told me it all. It's probably in the paperwork, but I can't bloody remember. I even read somewhere that it's not good to have green tea with chemo because it's an antitox, you know, it gets things out of your body and it makes the chemo come out. I don't know. I'm going to have it though, but I won't have it as much. I'm going to go anyway because I'm going to go to Poundland because I want my nuts that have the yoghurt on them and I want my cranberries with the dark chocolate around them. So, so yes, this video was just to say a big, big massive... Massive big thank you, massive hug. And that's it. <laughs> and you got to see Betty. Catch you later. Bye.